The Cibola boys and girls basketball teams are off to hot starts. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Scott Gross. Last night, the girls improved to 8-0, but the boys dropped their first game of the year to fall to 3-1. Tonight, the boys look to get back in the win column at home against the North Mustangs. To Raider Jim, where the North Mustangs and head coach Dana White looking for their win number one on the year against Dennis Ponder and the Cibola Raiders. Cibola looking to get back into that W column. Early third quarter, Cibola down 11 at 34-23. Junior Jared Arias decides to take it himself and glides down for the layup. More, it's going to be Stevens down low. A nice showing off of their passing around. All the way, Cibola, it'll, uh, Anthony Almarez gets the bucket. And the head fake floater, down seven. Cibola now down nine. Derek Stanley gets the feed down low. Misses the short jumper, but watch the hustle. It saves the possession off a north defender. Moments later, it's Jared Arias from the top of the arc. Three is good. Raiders down six. Arias would finish the game with a team high 19. Cibola would come back and win a thriller at home 52-50. They improved to 4-1 on the season. To Raider Field and girls soccer, Andres Presadio and the Cibola Lady Raiders with a lot of blankets on the bench looking for win at number two on the season against the champions of Cesar Chavez. Late second half, Cibola up 2-0 as junior Itzel Mesa puts a shot on goal just off to the right side. And moments later, it's going to be a pass into the box. It has a little too much on it. Raiders miss out on another opportunity. Under seven minutes to play, Cibola's Jimena Jimenez passes up a shot, works her way inside and pulls the trigger, but it's going to be off the mark to the right. Next, Janelle Sanchez gets a nice pass, and watch how she works toward the goal, but her shot is going to lack a little spice on it. Raiders still up 2-0. Cibola would have a lot of scoring chances, but only net two goals on their way to a 2-0 win. Lady Raiders are now 2-1 on the season. To Cibola boys soccer, the Raiders were on the road at Cesar Chavez and came away with a 4-1 win. Osvaldo Fuentes scored a hat trick and Zachary Avalar also added a goal. The Raiders improved to 3-0 in the season and will host Liberty next Tuesday. The Yuma Catholic Shamrocks girls team, as they have hit rough waters lately, losing Reese Sellers due to a knee injury, coming off a tough home loss to Imperial. Rocks looking to rebound against Arizona College Prep. First quarter, Rocks off to a slow start. Ryan Martinez finds Amanda Wiley on the wing. She dribbled drives inside for the deuce. Now it'll be fast forward to the final minutes of the game. Wiley finds a wide open Martinez on the inside, but she's hacked on her layup attempt, sending her to the foul line. She misses the first shot, puts down the second to tie the game at 24. And with 45 seconds remaining, watch as Hannah Swarthout is going to feed the rock to Martinez, and she is clutch, dropping the jumper near the top of the key to give the Rocks the late two-point lead. YC up three in the final play of the game. Lady Knights try one last desperate heave to tie it. But to no avail, YC comes away with the dramatic come from behind win, 27-24. To the boys game as sister Mary Teresa Batag is on hand as new head coach Luke Stuckey in the Rocks also hosting the Arizona College Prep. First quarter, Justin Erath misses the three ball, but Ryder Voot. Vote gets the board and puts the ball back into play and it goes right back to Erath who makes his second chance count. Three-pointer gets the Rocks on the board. Later in the quarter, Vote finds Jackson Jones inside and he turns past his defender, uses good body control to get inside and the bucket. YC still down two. Then the Rocks come up with the turnover as Vote leads the fast break, calls his own number, and draws the foul. Then will cash in on both free throw attempts. YC would trail by four points after one quarter play, but pull it out in the end 49. 46. We move on to boys prep soccer where the Colfa cheerleaders were on hand as coach Jamie Nicewinder and the Kings trying for their first win of the season against Mountain Point late first half. Colfa already up three goals. Lucio Ramirez delivering the centering pass to Aaron Sullivan, but his header attempt is off the mark. Then Gabriel Hernandez delivers a throw in and it's almost headed in for another Kings goal as Colfa would keep the pressure on on the Pride's defense. Another Colfa throw in leads to another header attempt by Tiernan Nicewander. Nice wander. That's also a little off target. Kofa would dominate from start to finish, getting the 6-2 win for their first victory of the regular season. In girls soccer, the Kofa Lady Kings defeated South Mountain tonight 5-0. Melissa Esquivel led the Lady Kings with two goals. Rosalind Ramirez and Estrella Villa also had goals. Autumn Areola was perfect in net. The Lady Kings improved to 2-1 in the season. The next play at Yuma on December 16th. 
More girls basketball. The Yuma Lady Criminals defeated Lake Havasu tonight, 48-25, to improve to 2-2 and two on the season. Lady Crims were led by Belinda Gradius, who nearly nabbed a triple-double. She finished with 10 points, 12 boards, and 7 steals. Aeneas Cook had 16 points and 10 boards, and freshman Tylee Jim pitched in a dozen points and added 5 steals. Real quickly, San Luis boys soccer won tonight, and the Cibola girls basketball team also won tonight to improve to 9-0. That's all the time we have for sports. We'll be right back.